And they looked at if they uh, absorption of zinc from a meal of oysters. And they first of all, they uh, the way they assess the absorption of zinc is they measured the zinc in the blood um, periodically after consuming a meal, and they could see okay if the zinc is ending up in your circulation, then it indicates that you are actually absorbing it. That's basically science. And what they found was that when they fed people oysters and black beans in the same meal, some of the chemicals, some of the phytic acid um, within the black beans would actually bind to the zinc and stop you absorbing the nutrients uh, within the oysters. And zinc absorption was reduced by 50% when you combine it with black beans. But the fascinating finding was when you combine oysters and corn tortillas, that the absorption of zinc was reduced 100%. 100%. 100%. Wow. So if you're out there and you're thinking, okay, I'm uh, these anti-nutrients, you know, that that's fine. I'm just going to, uh, you know, I'm not going to get any nutrient out of the corn tortillas. I accept that. I'm not going to get any zinc from them. So I'll just take it with the zinc supplement, what have you. Uh-uh. It's not, it doesn't work like that. Unfortunately, anti-nutrient anti-nutrients don't just impact on the food that they're contained within, but they can impact on any other food ingested at the same time. Right. And I've seen that a lot. So I know that there are certain anti-nutrients even in teas and um, in coffees. And I see a lot of people drink their tea and coffee with their meats, which then can bind to iron and can bind to other minerals. And we don't think of these things when we're eating certain foods, we think we're being healthier. It's just like how spinach has a lot of oxalates and that will bind to the iron. And so it's really, really fascinating. Um, while, you know, zinc, copper and iron, they're not the same as anti-nutrients. Um, if you understand that they share absorption pathways and there can be competitive inhibition of absorption, um, if somebody is truly trying to uh, increase their iron levels, then it doesn't make sense that you consume it at the same time as a zinc supplement, which yeah. is just going to compete with that. So-